Hey guys, it's NAM 2020 and Pete and I are at the Gibson stand. Yes. Uh, it's the day before the show opens, so you can probably still hear and see a few people setting up, but it's Ooh, way right. less busy than it's going to be tomorrow. So yeah. we're going to see what we can see now. Look at this. This is How the cool newest. Is that? Uh, this, is the, this is coming out uh, in the summer uh, <laughs> for those guys that have got Switch. massive fans. <laughs> I want one of these to just turn the lights on at home. Anyway. Let's go and see some Gibson guitars. Okay, <coughs> okay. Apologies if we're whispering a bit, keeping the voice um, down, because there's a presentation going on in the corner over there. Yeah. But we're we're in the this Gibson booth is like is three times the size it was last year. Massive. So we're going to do custom shop first, and then we're going to look at Gibson USA, and then we're going to look at Epiphone, and we're just mm. going to slide down. So there's no playing. Man, I'm so excited um, about this. Look firstly, at this. firstly, a signed Tony Iommi 1964 SG. 1964, the year Anderton started. Well, that wow. might be why. So what's, uh, what's he got? They've got a different tailpiece on there. No idea what these pickups are. Something scratched in there. I know. I think we can easily get this yeah, off me if you... Uh, but I think this is for sale, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Well, even though uh, it's not for sale. So we're not going to go into too much depth, really. I'm just hoping you guys kind of see all the different colours of stuff. So this is all custom shop. And obviously so, within the custom shop, you can kind of do whatever you want to do, or you can take stock models. So say, this has always been a favorite of mine, the Maestro trim. Awesome new collars here, <gasps> burgundy mist. Oh, look at look that. that. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm just a, a bit weak. Actually, look at the pearlescent nature of that, Pete. It changes color in the light. I'm, I've just, I'm, I'm gonna have to show you something before we jump up because I spotted something over here. I don't know, a friend of oh, mine, no, uh, a friend of ours, Matt Knight, is this. Matt Knight. If it's pink, pink he wants he it. He wants it. I think this is all these colours. I know, and they but look nicely worn. You know, they've got that is, again, finish. If you want something like this and you've got a cut, oh man, there look you go. at that, the olive green or drab. Drab, olive drab. Isn't that cool? It's better than cool, man. It's cooler this than that, cool. That's cool, isn't it? What is that? Metallic. In, in, Inverness? Inverness? Inverness cream. Oh. No, there's, a, there's going to be a lot of grunting. There's a lot of grunting going on here. Uh, um, what have we got here? Some sort of Gibson pedal board. board. What is this like? Some sort of Spider-Man? These are a dream dream art top. Purple Widow. Of course, look, it's purple. I thought that was the light shining down on it. But that, they made that just for you, Pete, yeah, just to for dress me. up as Venom um, and run around with your purple hot pants on. Firebirds. Again, birds. Same cool colours in the Firebirds. Look at these pastel colours. It's almost like. It's almost like that whole Fender 60s thing, isn't it? But that's taking it back the to the 60s, absolutely. These old 63s. That's great, whatever that graphite colour is. Or this was it Silver Mist Poly? Dude, this is just glorious. What, that red one here? That's oh, a lot I of wish you guys could be here. Yeah. It's just like, it is. It's like total guitar porn. And there's a, there's a, there's wow. a nitro. It's maybe not everyone's cup of tea, but I like the... It's a what homer. The, what's this weird thing where like the, the flip-flops go down the neck and then... Is it because like, and then they take the flip-flops and then they go into, into the, the sea? sea? on the surfboard here. See the surfboard? Oh, the surfboard scratch plate. Yeah. And these are all raised up, painted on top of that. ho Omaha. ho Omaha. And, That's and very, I very I think cool. if anyone is from Hawaii, they can tell us what that means. But it probably means something like, we love music or something. It's a little uh, less ball special the double cut. These seem to have gone more curvy. These are the 65 versions, so non -re -re reverse Firebirds. So and, I think we're no, going 60. No raised bit. So. I think we're going 63 there and then 65 oh, so here. Through the ages. Look at this beautiful that orange, orange colour. Is great. These it's are the really switching cool. as well. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. It's almost like a Jaguar meets a Firebird and had a weird baby. It's like the reverse one. We had one second Did hand we? in stock with three pickups Great on it. Color. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. This Leo Scala, Master Built Flying V. That has seen some action. That that's like that's awesome, right. if man. Rambo played the guitar, that's what he would have. <laughs> he would literally just <laughs> they drew first blood. <laughs> but there's an X on that pickup. I'm wondering. Mate, that's awesome. I'm wondering. No, anyway. well, I, that's awesome. We're showing our ignorance here, not yeah. really. Um, Leo Scala may be amazingly famous and we didn't know, but. 67. Look at that green, pull that off the thing. That what is, is that, like Verdoro green? Oh! <laughs> Look! <laughs> that is <so> <laughs> wicked. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that, because that is. Verdoro green. I love, I just love the names. Look, you, you do that and then it's you go, in you go. Isn't it? Yeah. Wallop. Oh, wallop. Wallop, indeed. That's a great colour. Um, what else we double got? Double cuts. Another. Another oh, so Leo Scala. Scala. Yeah, is, he just, is he a master builder? Oh, that's Gibson. what I'm thinking. Maybe. Um, it's another. Wicked and the reason why I said there was an. <gasps> Look how they mount a big speed to a V. I know. 
Oh, you, oh, you've got to see that. That's amazing, isn't it? That is amazing. What a wicked idea. Okay, so now we're into ES. Yeah. Still custom shop. Uh, so these are all 59s coming up here. Fancy. Now this is quite interesting oh, sorry, as well. And 61, sorry. You guys may remember that the whole Memphis division of Gibson moved to Nashville uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. And they were saying, although a lot of the stock ES models would become, you know, part of the standard Nashville line, they were going to move a lot, some of the higher end ES into the custom shop. And, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this sort of quantity of them. But these are like the really, really accurate repros of, you know, the, what's this, a 61 you've got there, yeah. but all, all of the heritage kind of vintage. And again, 335 to me is a bit like, you know how I feel about the Telecaster, which is like you have to sort of, you kind of, you need to earn it. Yeah, you, to earn you, have, to, you have to, I think yeah. the 335 is that. It's the same once you sort of Once thing. you've earned it, you've got, you and know, you get it. it. Yeah. And then it does I, everything. Yeah. And I think the um, 330, uh, 330, 330, or the 330, yeah. is, the, is the next the step from the 390s, really? Yeah. That you have to really be able to earn that one. The mandolins. I'm going to learn to play the mandolin one day. I would Probably like not till to I'm see really you old playing and mandolin. Sitting in a rocking chair by a river somewhere. That's another sneaky little uh, 58. 58 in the US down there. So we're going what's up to 64. What's the best here? looking? Well, these are three, five, three, four fives and three five fives yeah. now, aren't they? With the block in them, like kind of like custom versions. Three four fives. Oh, is that a Trini? Yeah. Yeah, Trini Lopez. Oh, that collar just screams. I always like Gibson three three five. Yeah, I always like that little badge of honor. Oh, what we got here? I'm Trini Lopez. Look at my first badge. First standard slash proto. Oh wow! So it's a. So I'm confused yeah. now. So is this the prototype or is this a repro of the prototype? <laughs> Feel that neck. Oh, it's battered. When people go, it's got I don't scars. like. <laughs> I don't like ding neck. This is. Oh man, he's, that guitar has fallen off his amplifier stand <laughs> many times. That is completely. Knackered on the back. It's beautiful. Though. Oh man, he's absolutely given that. Is, some... Isn't there a rumor that we might be seeing Slash a show? Well, at some I'm not sure. I'm the kind of, show. Can't a deal as a rumor. Rumor. confirm that. Oh. Here we go. Here's the 60s. Oh. So of course, wow. last year was the 70th anniversary of the 59. <gasps> 60th. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing my decades here. 60th yeah. anniversary of the 59, and now of course it's, it's the 60th the anniversary of the 60. I love um, that badge. So the, probably the most famous 1960 Les Paul was probably Clapton's Beano, I think. Yeah. Um, the 59 often gets all the plaudits, doesn't it? But the 60 What's the was Beano? a good year as, yeah. year as well. Absolutely. And the last year before they discontinued the burst there for a short period of time. And, no, yeah. sorry, discontinued the whole blooming Les Paul, didn't they? That's but, right, that's right. I mean, can you, can you imagine, as a modern guitar player, the idea that this guitar somehow is like, no, I don't like it anymore. Let's just get rid of it. Yeah. Let's just make the SG instead. It's like, uh, yeah. hello. But that was a different time, wasn't it? It was a different time. It was a they different were clearly time. all taking too much LSD. Yes. Um, Look at all these colors. They're wonderful, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Anyway. And then what we got down here? There's some more here. 60s. Ooh, 60s custom. There's got plus prototype. The Vermilion, yeah. Oh, so they're going to do, that's a too. custom shop version of you can, see it, the, you can see you the, can, all yeah. the yellows and awesome. Here's some more and glorious. Oh, well, here's yeah, of course. Custom, yeah, V's, Explorers, gold tops, double necks. There's a mandolin. Custom shop iPad there. Custom shop um, iPad. <laughs> oh, you can see how we carved the uh, whoever carved that. We saw that this up. last year, didn't we? Where they they start off obviously with a, a blank that. And they'll draw the design on it, and then you you know it's, it's such a beautiful artisan craft, and yeah. then they just carve it out and end up with yeah. something. Well, you can end like up with, with that one, with the <sighs> whole Omaha, ho 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 Omaha. Very talented people, these luthiers. Yeah, right, let's right. go and see Gibson Normal USA. Yes, here we Gibson go. Gibson USA. Uh, this Special. is cool because the the tribute series which came out last year in the double cut format and it was like cool guitars but not maybe not as popular as we would hope they would be so tribute now for 2020 is going back to the single cut shape um so humbuckers p90s all that kind of stuff four different colors um, was it four different uh, three or color different colors. um but who i mean what's not to like about that and if you are looking at um, one of the more affordable Gibsons <laughs> in the range, or the most affordable Gibsons in the range, something like this may well.
float your boat. It looks like a little hairy dog here in the, in the light. It looks like it's got hairs on it. <laughs> I like the white one. You know what? This, this, oh, the white this one is great. absolutely my, sorry, my favorite. It looks like the Look one the that. guy from Green Day had, I think. I'm sure he had some sort of a white yeah, special. One, and one, once that wears down a bit, it's going to look uh, really cool. Um, modern series. Yeah. So this is, this is stuff that you saw last year, really. So modern series, SGs. We're just doing a quick overview. Ooh. Ooh. Lots of bases. Standard bases. Did we have them last year? We got these. Yep. We never, we never videoed those, so we'll. So that's we'll what. Get back essentially, into this. that's what the the tribute guitars were that shape, yes. and have now become those single cut shapes. But the bases have stayed as double cuts because they've been pretty popular. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's just do a quick edit. Back to the other end. So there's no real order to this, so we're still just staying in USA. So again, we've got some ES guitars, satin finishes. Like I was saying before, if you if you're looking at the more uh, affordable. Gibson ES ranges. Check out the, the satin finish stuff because yep. that'll save you a little bit of money. Um, oh, mother. What have you got here? What am I hearing? Oh, oh wow. Look at that. That's glorious. That is on fire. Yes. I like it. Um, or something a here. bit more classic. You just want like a plain, yeah. plain top. 339s? Uh, 339s. You yeah. know what the 339 is for, don't you? Three, three, if, if Prince or someone who was like, you know, five foot four, yeah. wanted to look like he was playing a three, three, five. Perfect. Three, three, nine. Exactly. See, that's how it works. It's like three, three, five for small people. It's not really, but. No, it's just people just that want spin. to. Just spin. Yeah, because they are pretty big. <laughs> uh, these, yeah, Explorers. We got these, yeah. Yeah, uh, man, no, that is just so, so good looking guitar. Thunderbird bases. Bases. Woo. Now we can probably just jump over this side. <laughs> Moderns. You may or may not have seen uh, one of the new Epiphone moderns that we did in the video this morning, which we loved. But yeah, they're kind, love of, like, that. They're kind of uh, Epiphone versions of these. So the modern, Is yeah, it's for, for a player that yeah. wants a Les Paul, but a modern With all sounding your, and looking, vibing yeah, one. Modern features. Classics. But well, you can go back and watch the videos we did on all shoes. of these I don't as think well. there's any new colors. Mm. Oh, these are, I'm guessing, probably something to do with this man here yeah. that probably we're not allowed to show you yet. Although actually I'm pretty sure if you go onto the Anderson's channel there is a video of these that we did a few weeks ago but we weren't allowed to tell you about. Yeah. I'm guessing That'll be on the here. Just check. Yeah, that might just be them. Might be them. Yeah. It might not be. Who knows. Where's up to the other end? Let's be honest with you. Here's some bucket list guitars. Who doesn't want a 50s Les Paul or a 60s Les Paul? Gold tops. Oh. The gold top I mean, and P90s just that Who, went nuts. I okay, remember that. I'm just saying. Yeah. How you? How's the bicep feeling? Yeah, it's all right. That, that's a proper. That, that's, that's a proper a, Les Paul, isn't Paul, it? Uh, for guys that go, yeah, I, I think heavy Les Pauls are the way to go. Yeah. That's one. Wasn't Whoa. that? Hasn't the, that been unbelievably popular as well? The oh, one crazy. with the P90s. Gold top because it's like a 56 Les Paul, isn't it? Yeah. But, but without the price tag. Yeah. 60s. Beautiful tops there. These. Oh, these. Uh, you take and that what, one, I'll grab this one. What I love. Oh, I'll grab the lefty like, one here. What, mahoosively, the new Epiphone range has got, I don't, think it, I don't think it's got it in this color, but it's got it in this color. This color, yeah. They've got these guitars, like proper authentic repros of these, but yeah. for like pocket money. Yeah. I say pocket money. Well, for, I mean, for some. If you save up for a little while. Yeah. But look, and a lefty here, which is great. Oh. That's another one of those guitars that you have to earn the to play yes. a 1P90 that guitar, is, isn't you, it? You've got to earn that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> this, this always, I love this because I remember like, people who've never played a guitar before and they get one with a tremolo system on it, everyone always thinks that, that what you're supposed to do is, is like this with the tremolo system. But of course, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to literally go like this. Like except this, up and down. Except not on this one. This, you actually do go side to side and it works as a trem system. And it looks like Optimus Prime and you can keep your sandwiches underneath this little lid here. It's just so multi-useful. <laughs> sandwiches, small sandwiches. But okay, if you've got a small phone and a small um, watch, you want a small sandwich. I'm just saying, still my favorite Gibson video that we did of 2019. Yes. Yeah, man. This guitar. And why have you not I got connected. one of these left well, uh, uh, yet? I don't know. I'm still... I got some dirt on JC. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pull it in soon. Get myself a single pickup SG. They call in the favour. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Take this um, out. 
this is, I was not, I knew nothing about Not expected, about this. no. This, I is, was this like is like totally, totally this. Uh, unveiling. So this, this is, is uh, more cool. Epiphone. Yeah. Um, the Prophecy series has always been, or it's been in the Epiphone catalogue for a while, but it, it, the, so it was always like a contemporary, I think they either had EMGs on them or yeah, yeah, they yeah. had yeah. Uh, Seymour Duncans on them or yeah. whatever. And they often had those, um, I didn't like the colour of them, but those sort of like, they had like yes. mother of pearls in yeah, the tops yeah, of the nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, an all new prophet prophecy range from Epiphone. We're going to see some Les Pauls in a minute, but here we've got V's, Explorers, SG's, funky colours. Can I just point out the, serum, uh, the, the number of this, whatever that means, <laughs> but uh, you know, just so you the can number see. Number of the beast. The beast. Uh, Fishman Fluence. That's really Fishman interesting. Are just, they are the dominating, they are like a dominatrix. <laughs> Fishman Fluence Systems, Ebony Fretboards, 24 frets. New headstocks uh, again. Yeah, 24 on, on frets the, on everything, I yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the more Gibson-y kind of headstocks. All Gibson bound, fund. I like it, the triple bound. A little little uh, triangles in the fret, in the inlays. What else are we have? I don't know, slightly more got contoured. A, yeah, battery uh, That's on the V. Oh, so man. they got battery compartment for the, for the pickups, of course. We didn't, yeah, and like contour, heel yeah. joints. I wish we haven't had to, we didn't get to try these. Boom. It's Jared. <laughs> there he is. Hey. Uh, we are going to uh, accost him shortly. Yes. We're we'll uh, going to attack look him. Look at these colours. They're wicked Cool colours, aren't they? So now the Les Paul Prophecy is going to have a belly cut. It's the, the sort of access neck joint. They look very familiar, you know. Locking tuners. Yeah, I mean, look. The, I mean. The, the kind of the market for a contemporary single cut copy Rock. Gibson kind of haven't really been in that, have they? Because no. you have brands like ESP they, and stuff being yeah, more in that. Yeah. But now it's like, it's now they're in it. Now, they're not just, just why in not? it, they're, they're are, in it to win it. They're in it to win it, deep, like. Alex Lifeson? Alex Lifeson. No, there's an Epiphone version an of Epiphone that. an Epiphone version? Yeah. What yeah. is this, like a, a Graftec licensed Floyd? It looks like a Floyd, yeah. I've never seen Graftec do it, unless it's not That's, even a Floyd. It doesn't even say Floyd on it. It just says Graftec. Ooh. Belly card on that one I can see from here. Then we've got a Brendan Small Ghost Horse Explorer. Ghost Horse? Ghost? What is a ghost horse? Uh, well, it's a, it's a ghost, it's a horse of a ghost. What is this? A Nancy Wilson. That's and a good color, blue one. This hasn't got anything. There's no sticker on this. What do we think this is? I Just got, a funky color. No, no, there you go. You, you, you oh, you got it. Uto oh, here Gorio. we go. Uto Gorio, Les Paul. Argovanis Uto Gorio, Les Paul. I'm guessing he's big somewhere other than the UK. But that's or his she. or her yeah. signature guitar. Yeah. There um, you go. JC. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go see what else we can find. So, we talked a lot about Epiphone in 2020 of kind of having this idea of now if it's a copy of a Gibson guitar, it's going to have much more that sense of, yeah, it's going to be part of the inspired by Gibson range yeah. and Epiphone. So, dot. ES-335. No, no more of this idea of calling it an Epiphone dot and avoiding calling it an ES-335. No. It is just the ES-335 now in the yes. Epiphone range, which is great. Honestly, you get rid of the E there and don't look That's here. what I said earlier as well, wasn't it? It's like you How do you wouldn't, know? You wouldn't know. Now. And a 339 Pro, but these He's are gonna lose apt. his proverbial SHIT here. This is the Uptown Cap. Billy Joel signature. <laughs> it's not really. The Christy Brinkley. I mean, we need to get some light on these. I'll put Everybody it here. Everybody under the age of 40 is going, I have no idea what the captain's talking about. This is the Uptown Cat. Kind of like a, a version of a wild cat, but just Uptown. With mini humbuckers. Mini humbuckers on there. I love Let that little, is that rubber? I've always got a little, like a rubber washer or it's, something it's, behind it's the lovely, pickup switch. It's lovely, I get it, Pete. I get it. It's, oh, These they're are great. great colors. They're great, aren't they? So you've got, oh, you've little, got little, green with a gold yeah. back. Yeah. And, and red, red with, with a gold, gold back. back. And blue red with, with a blue a, back. Red with a gold back. That, is, that, that looks royal, man. That's royalty right that there. That is majestic. It is. And here's a blue one like with a blue back. a wine shop. <laughs> um, <laughs> Remind me a bit of uh, a Gretsch a little bit. What have we got here? Not a... Oh, Joe Pass. There you go. Joe Pass. Oh, I tell yeah. you. If you want to learn jazzy blues licks, oh. look the Joe Pass Blue Side of Jazz tuition yeah. DVD video thing. Just type in, in, in iTunes, uh, Apple Music, whatever you've yeah. got, Joe Pass, listen to some of that stuff. Glorious. Lizzie Hale, Dave Rude, various. I mean, I kind of think Cassidy. it's cool how many artists actually have George Thurgood. Headphones. Yeah. Here's the Flying Vs. That's cool. Thunderbird. That's like. That's. Uber cool. Yeah. I'd put different color knobs on it, but yeah, that's you'd like easy to do. Knobs. 
What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Uh, look at these, man. Les Paul Customs with the correct, well, more correct shape. Is it a Kalamazoo stock? headstock, isn't it? Uh, is that what and they call it? A thought, Kalamazoo. Thought, yeah. And uh, if you noticed, again, we talked about the video that we've done before, but it, this is the Gibson font. So that's changed as well. Um, and they just look... I found it. I found it. We probably jumped out a load, but you yeah. saw... In fact, yeah, I'm going to come let's back. Let's just, let's, we have, Lee, we have to, we have to just. Because we did these, we did the 50s and 60s Epiphone Les Paul video this morning, but we didn't yeah. have all the colours, did we? That's the 59. Oh, yeah, 59s that we did in with a the vintage new finished, sunburst. All ha hand wired and with the uh, uh, vintage specs and switchcraft switches and input jacks and, you know, just great. Look at these. Man, I mean, these I mean, are, these honestly, are Epiphone. Honestly and truthfully, it's like, come on. What am I holding up, everyone? What am I holding up? Um, I, yeah, Bonkers. this is great, man. This uh, is great. Look at that. It's a great top on that one, isn't it? Look at that. This one, that, that one. You like that? Yeah, iced tea. I like oh, so that. All the colours are the right colours. Iced tea, bourbon, bourbon, bourbon. They're all the, the USA colours. Wow. So this is what I was telling you a second ago in the video. I mean, this is probably the coolest, one of the coolest Gibson Les Pauls that you can buy. And yeah. now it's a proper... Epiphone. Yeah. Or if this one's a bit too complicated for you, they do the, 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 the less complicated one. Oh, man. Oh, look. Man, 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 man. Oh, that's a, although you can, again, is that different? The burst is, they obviously only don't do a, the, the black back. So I think when you buy the Gibson one, the black wraps yeah. round, doesn't it? But yeah. it's more of a top on it. Now, that, here's, my, here's the favorite, uh, my favorite one. There's the ghost. Um, oh, the ghost body. The ghost body. Uh, <laughs> Ghost. No, you know we were talking about guitars where you really have to be good to earn your stripes? Yeah. That's the ultimate one. Yeah. And if, you can, if you can get, <laughs> you can if you good can, sound if you can get a good sound out of that, then you absolutely know that you've, you're just a different level of I think, gravy. I think this is more to show uh, like the way that they are now hand uh, doing... You, you know, the, yeah. Well, it's not an actual one, guitar. You know. Maybe they're just missing <laughs> a guitar wrap. Who knows? Um, but they are all doing that by hand, rolling their fingerboards. <sighs> Seriously, they just faded. Oh, we we tried blue. this this morning, didn't we? It's great. Yeah, we had that in the video. Vivian Campbell, Jared James Nichols. Blues Power Legend. Joe Bonamassa. Does he play Gibson? <laughs> I don't know, does he? <laughs> um, I like the, the colour name of that, Norm Burst. Norm Burst. Is of it, course is it is. Is it from Norm's then? Yeah. The, the one he bought. Tommy Taylor. I love that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a really cool you, looking you, guitar. Uh, like, you've got to be a bit brave to, yeah. with the matching platform shoes and yeah, everything. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't pull that off, Lee. Last aisle, promise. Yeah. Boom, straight up the top here. So this is the Muse series. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to be honest with you. When I first saw this on the just the digital release from yeah. Gibson a couple of weeks ago, yeah. I don't know that I, I sort of saw the colours and I was a bit like, oh, I'm not sure. But I've seen these in the flesh now and, and played I, them, and I get it. I mean, it, I'm I'm sold. Yeah. They're I mean they're obviously very contemporary colours. Yeah. Um, and maybe going after a different kind of market to the person that might want a traditional sunburst. True, or, true, true. But look at them. Look at these. Oh, they're, they're glorious. They are absolutely glorious. And if you're wondering, you know, what's the point? Is it just flashy new colours? It's definitely not. There's more to it than that. But go and see the video that we did where we actually Have played look at these. That. Oh, that's absolutely yeah. stellar. And it, the, the neck profiles on these are slightly slimmer as well. Yeah. So, you know, if you are a smaller person with smaller hands, these guitars are great. Smaller watches, if you've got small hat. That was the one I played earlier in the video. So that if you, if you can see here, the body, uh, oh yeah, the, bit the thinner, body belly cuts. You got the body, body, uh, the body belly, cuts. Body cuts, <laughs> body, body cuts in yeah. Bollywood. That is awesome. Look at that. Signature. What is that called? Radio Blue. That's the wrong one. That must be that one. Oh, that man. A, see, that even the gold top isn't really a It's like more of a champagne sparkle, isn't it? What if do they I call was, this? Lee, if I was, smoked almond metallic. If I was to go and buy some eyeshadow, Al John's been smoking some almonds. If he uh, thinks I this think is so. like smoked almond metallic, but there we go. But if I was to go and buy some makeup right now in <laughs> a makeup you? shop, I would get these colours eyeshadow. I'm telling you right now. This is a tough guitar to beat for value for money. The worn finish SG with the two P90s in it. Again, one of the more affordable Epiphones. It looks incredible in the inverted screen. Oh. Ooh. What am I seeing here? This bass Alan is Woody. really cool. Alan yeah. Woody. I'm not quite that's familiar with uh, from the before my time. Uh, Allman Brothers. And oh, that's right. Government Mule. Yeah. Um, he's passed away now, unfortunately. But 
He lives on in this awesome Epiphone bass. It looks great. Uh, cool. What a cool color. Not much more. Oh, oh. Uh, moderns. I mean, I, I'm starting to literally go, am I in the Gibson section? Am I in the Epiphone section here? It's kind of freaking me out. If here, you don't look up, I know. you can't tell, can you? That's all I need to do, isn't it? Just look, there's the advice. Just look up, yeah. Just, go, just look at the headstock. Really. Yeah, you do it's that. It's not that right? difficult. Um, moderns. Look at these Modern colors figured. as well. Is this the one you had earlier? Yeah, that was oh, the. Man, look at that one. Owens Magma Fade. This is Magma. these are the colors. So this is Cafe, Cafe Latte, Latte Fade. This me. is Blue Caribbean you can do with Fade. A Starbucks. Yeah. Or a Costa. Whichever one. I don't think they've got cost, Costa. Maybe more here. to sponsor them on Instagram. I'm yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. We want uh, <laughs> want sponsorships, please. Uh, classics. Oh, Lee. War oh dear. Oh no. Pete, you never told me you've done a signature Epiphone Les Paul. I know, but I was going to keep it a secret and uh, till now. So yes, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Goes with your my eyes. new. My new uh, uh, faded purple uh, Epiphone. The faded stuff Classic. is such good value yeah. as well. That looks wicked. It's kind man. of crazy, isn't it? I think because that's great. some people would actually look at the faded stuff and think it looks better than the lacquered stuff. Yeah. Um, and you it, it'll probably money. wear. It'll wear well, it better. It looks it? different. Yeah. So it's all. That's really it looks cool. Different. Yeah. Studios, Studios, up, no. <laughs> Phil Collins set, set Studio Limited Edition ones, and finally double cuts, which aren't new. Uh, yeah, but, easy pros. Hey, hey, I've been distracted. Oh, honestly. Dude, look at that. Someone's drawn a picture of Bob Madonna Pickman. with a sword on the front of a Kramer guitar riding a dragon. Because why wouldn't you? That's that, funky, isn't I it? I tell you what, man, if you looked at that for long enough. I'm at the, the, hey, yeah. Watch this, where's the camera? <laughs> Buy more Kramer guitars. <laughs> Buy more Kramer guitars. I mean, that, that's definitely my favorite, but. So I, I think these were the ones that JC was talking about a minute ago when he, this was off camera, but saying that like a lo all their load of artists had got some American Kramers and, and painted them all custom graphics. So these are all one of a kind one-offs. Can one I just point out? I suppose that's. Can I just point out this? Got still the tone on tools. There. I absolutely love the tone tools up the there. The tone tools. Actually, you know what? I say these. I, these may not even be <laughs> American. No, actually, I, I think these are just regular Kramers that someone's just painted. Yeah. I'm looking for affirmation, but I don't know. Custom graphic collection. But custom graphics. Yeah. They're wicked. They are. What's your favourite one? That one. Yeah, that one. I, I like I this think. one. Yeah, that's cool as well. Actually, Kramer. this is pretty cool. It's back. I mean, yeah. it never went away, but it's back in a big way. Yeah. Reverse headstock. With a snake on it. Snake Beretta. Oh. And then, of course, let's not forget. Right? I have a feeling like 2021 or something will be the year of Steinberger. It just feels like Gibson had its love and then Epiphone and then Kramer had it. Yeah. And Steinberger's just going to be the next one to get love. And if you've got a, an electric car with a frunk, you know, and it's front trunk. A front you know, trunk. That's what you need. So you open up, the, and you yep. put that and then in the back, in the boot, you put your amp and then yep. you can fit this in there. Easy. Wow. Wow. More Epiphone. We're nearly done, guys. Oh, this is the USA made. This is what I'm really excited about, Lee. I cannot express my, my excitement about you these. You cannot express your it's excitement. Go on, I can. express it. Uh, can we stand on this or will it just all fall through? <laughs> Old booth falls <laughs> down and we're... Okay, so the Casino is, oh, a, is another man. Epiphone original guitar. Oh, man. We mentioned before that, you know, people don't realize that Epiphone is like, oh, as a brand, man. is, is a tw like 20 years older than Gibson. Maybe even 30 years older than Gibson. 1873, 63, I 73, something yeah. like that. And of course, one of the most famous gu electric guitars that Epiphone ever made was the Casino. Probably made most famous by John Lennon in some band that he was in that no one's ever heard of. What was of. that called? I don't know, the, the, the Bottles or something. Um, but yeah, apparently he played one of these a lot. So now they're back in, the, they've, they've always been available as like a, a Chinese Epiphone. Periodically, you could get an elite one from Japan, an yeah. elite casino. Yeah. Now, you can just go full fat. So give me the good stuff. And that's what you get. I guess it's like a 330 kind of vibe, but with a different tailpiece. Totally hollow, so these are totally like Man, away anything. These are awesome. Um, anyway, American, One. the Texan. Yeah. Again, we talked about the Casino being probably Epiphone's most famous electric guitar, their most famous acoustic guitar. What's the band? Oh. Had, did he have another guy in that band? Was there, that, were there, that were there guy John Lennon was in the bottles? And then Phil, he was Phil, 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 Phil McCarty. Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, yes, Paul McCartney. Uh, famously used an Epiphone Texan. And now you can have a proper American one, if you, just like he did. Just, his was probably left-handed. I don't know, actually, did he have a left-handed one or did he just play a right-handed one upside down? All you Beatles fans out there, correct me. Yeah. Um, did he have a 
the odds have. <laughs> it's just, it's just mind blowing. Yeah, have a look around here. It's mind blowing. Anyway. Wow. So there we are. Anyway, come to Anderton's at some point this year, and you could experience like your own mini version of this hall, because we'll probably have almost all this stuff in stock as well. This is our new video room, ladies. This and gentlemen. is it. Yeah. Which this is not going to happen. Home. Right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Stay tuned. See you later. Amy Phone 2020. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Nice I was going to say something with the... Uh...